We all know that magnets have the power to attract and repel. This same law can be applied to our minds and what we say. The law of attraction, when our thoughts have the power to manifest in our lives. Within a span of a day, we have around 60,000 thoughts. 60,000. Now, whether these may be, I'm not getting that promotion I want, or my crush doesn't like me back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your crush doesn't like you back, and you are not getting that promotion. <laughs> Our thoughts carry out frequencies and vibrations, and you can call these either good vibes or bad vibes, terms a lot of us are familiar with. And it's those good vibes and bad vibes that attract things into our lives. Just like these magnets. Have you ever been dreaming about something for so long and eventually got it? Whether it may be those chili cheese bites from McDonald's or a five pound note you found on the ground. Whatever it was, that is the law of attraction. Have you, how many of us here have made a New Year's resolution? Now, how many of us have still kept it? Not a lot. Let me tell you why. As humans, we put energies and intentions into everything we think, say, and do. And this affects our daily lives. Some of us may have made that New Year's resolution in order to improve our lives, benefit something. However, some of us may have made that New Year's resolution in order to tell everyone, New Year, New Me. The difference here is that the first person is doing it for themselves, whereas the second person is not. Take me as an example. I was not the greatest at science. However, one day I decided to tell everyone that I was, and so I had to act like I was too. And ever since then, I have understood science better. So I did the same with English, and the next English test I had, I got the highest in the class. And then the next maths test I had, I got the highest in the class. So to whomever is listening to me right now, whether you're trying to get your crush to like you back, or you're trying to achieve or obtain that one thing that you want, as Prentice Mulford quoted, one of the first people to understand the law of attraction said, our thought is the unseen magnet, ever attracting its correspondence into things seen and tangible. <laughs>